Well, if you got this far, that means you know how to do 3D pictures and how to make the lenticular uh, finished image, which is the combination of 10 frames all put into one photograph. Now, you might not be able to see it, I'll get a close up on it, but there are lines along the edges and the top. That is your registration lines. That's how you're going to put the lens, which is here, onto the picture and line it up so that you get the right 3D depth. Okay? So, first of all, I want to talk about the lens here. This is a portrait lens, since this is a portrait picture. And the way you can tell is the, the lines always run vertical. So, if you were going to order this, you would order an 8x10. 8 by 10. If you're doing a landscape, it would come this way. The lines would still run vertical, but you'd order a 10 by 8. So that's the way they uh, factor in the sizes. And the lines always have to be vertical. You cannot put this on a landscape. You will get no 3D whatsoever. So anyway, what I wanted to show you is how to register the lens to the picture. Now this is a this is a cl more closer picture. If I tilt it up like this, can you see it better? Here's the registration lines. Now on the software, you can have as many lines as you want as you need. When you first start out, you're going to want more lines because you're learning how to do this. I only use two lines or no lines. Okay. So right now, this has got uh, I think five lines in it, so it's going to be a little bit easier to register when you first start out to have more registration lines. What I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this lens to this picture. Uh, one thing to keep in mind too, you'll notice, well you probably already noticed this, but the final print is blurry because of all these lines. It's the same as if you're watching a 3D in a movie theater and take off the glasses, it's blurry. But here's your goal. Your goal is to put this lens on these registration marks right on the edge here and what you want them to do is all turn a black line all the way down when you have that solid black line and I don't know if you can see it but trust me you'll twist this and then when you get a solid black line all the way down the edge that means it's registered okay but it's only registered one way you have if if this gets out of kilter like this let's say it gets as you move it, it gets kiltered. You got this registration and you got the straight registration. So what happens is, this is 40 lines per inch. So every 40 lines, it takes a piece of those 10 pictures and shows them in 3D. But what happens is, now you gotta learn how to do the lenticular dance. Because what you're gonna do is, when you get this lined up, let me line it up here. Okay, and I push it down it looks right now from my view, viewpoint it looks good I got good 3d but uh, as I move back and forth right to left looking at the picture it starts to go out of focus faster this way than this way and what you want is you want it to be dead in focus in the middle of the picture and then when you move your body to the right and to the left it's an equal distance of where it comes back into focus again. So what you're going to do is I got to move it and this sounds illogical. It goes out of focus faster here. You would think you'd move it back here. You move it towards the one that has the least amount of focus. So it's, it's turning out of focus faster here. So I'm going to move it that way. Now we all think we're moving stuff really smoothly. But that's sometimes how it gets out of alignment on the edges. So I moved it just a hair. And, and then I'm going to do back and forth. There's, as I move, I'm going to tell you how, how what I see. It's in focus, dead on. I move to the right. It just came into focus. Move back to the middle. Move to the left. Just came into focus. Now it's centered. I can now attach the lens to this picture and know I've got good 3D and that you will see it dead on it will be in focus because what it's doing is re-registering so that as you move or as somebody looking at the picture moves 
it refocuses again. In the movie theater, you sit in one seat and don't move. But in real life, on a picture on the wall, you will move. So it re-registers back into 3D. Now I'm going to actually attach this lens to this picture. A couple of things I want to, to uh, let you know about. I get these pre-cut. This is 8x10. Okay, portrait. I order 8x10 portrait, 8x10 landscape. I order 12x16s and 16x20s. I have them pre-cut. At first I started cutting them myself. And sometimes you still have to do some trimming, but it's a pain in the butt. And, you know, unless you've got a big shear machine to do it with, uh, I actually have to do it on a table saw. And uh, so when I tell people I print my pictures and then trim them on a table saw, they wonder why I use a table saw. But this is quite thick. It's pretty indestructible, actually. And on the back side, this is the side with the lens. Okay, you can hear the lens at the lenses. See, if I went this way, you wouldn't hear anything. This way, so you know which way the lenses run. But on the back side, this is an optical adhesive. So it's an already attached to the lens, and I'm going to peel it off and show you how to laminate it, and that's how you attach it. So I have the, the lenses pre-cut and adhesive attached, so I don't have to do that later on, because it's, like I said, it was, it was a waste of my time. Now, before I can attach this, I have to score it. For me to score it, just use a, a regular box cutters. And what you want to do is score it. Not very big. I probably got less than a quarter of an inch here I'm going to score. And you think you can't go straight, but it's amazing how straight you can go. And it don't matter if you go off. So this is scored. And what it is, you, you, you're cutting through this protective uh, coating here down to the adhesive and I'm going to peel with my fingernail a piece of that back and make a little flap because when I put it on then I'm going to pull on that flap and take it off and you say well ain't there going to be a line right here yes there's going to be a line right there but what it's going to do is get hit by the frame and you won't see it very often and put it strategically on the picture because what most people, if you put it at the top, it would be more visible than if you put it at the bottom. So, I got the little flap right here, and now I'm going to re-register, make sure it's in, in, in uh, focus, equal distance, and then attach it. Okay, so we got this score, our little pull tab, and we're going to re-register it to the picture. Now, one of the things, since this is cut to 8x10, I'm only taking the least amount of these black lines, registration lines, as I can. And a lot of times, I'll just move it over to get it off the registration line so it's almost a perfect 8 by 10. And as you move it over, you can see it go out of focus and in focus. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll, I'll move this here. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to put this back. I still want an 8x10 as close as possible with the least amount of lines, but I need them to line it up. Okay. Then I'm going to push it over. And then I'm going to, this is my head moving to the right. There it goes. To the left. The little bit comes faster on the right, so I move it over to the right. Always head towards the side that has, that comes out of focus the fastest. Okay. Okay, there's one. Okay, that's pretty straight. But I got bad focus here. And that's because my lens got crooked when I pushed it. So I'm going to push this corner up. And you can watch it bring these leaves up here into view. Into focus. Because sometimes when you push it over, you'll push it over not straight. You think you are. Okay, so after I did that, I'll readjust. Okay, everything's looking good. Right there, everything is in perfect focus right in the middle. I'm going to go to the right. I'm going to go to the left. Okay, it's equal. Now, I'm going to try and do this with the camera to see if you can see the change from right to left. So, hold on a second. Okay, I'm going to hold this down and have the camera person uh, see if we can see this shift. 
Okay, we're in the middle right now. Go left. There you go. Mm -hmm. It popped right there. Go back. It popped. Go right. And then go back to the middle. That's a lenticular yeah. dance. But you're doing it with your face or your head and you move back and forth to make sure you got equal distance before it turns out of focus. Okay, let's register this and attach it. Now, keep in mind, you got to keep this, the paper, uh, clean in the back of the lens. You don't want anything on it that drops on the, on the picture because um, a little piece of dust can look like a mountain under these lenses. And uh, many times when I've had to trim stuff and I'd come back in, what I didn't know was a little piece would drop out of my hair from when I was trimming and you don't see it and boy it looks like Mount Everest fell on your paper. So anyway I'm going to re-register this line okay and then I'm going to check it there's right see it goes I want to get it off these lines as much as possible so when I trim this paper off I got an 8 by 10 that gets hid. If there's a little line on there, no big deal. Okay. Again, I'm going to have to adjust this top because it got scooted over when I pulled it over. Okay, right there it looks pretty darn good. I go to the right. It focused really fast. Not fast on the left. So I got to go to the right. Okay, focused out left still more you want them to be as equal as possible out out there we go out out just a tad more when I mean a tad a couple lines there now it's pretty equal but I've got to adjust that leaf at the top because as I push it over, it gets kind of angled, and when I pull it down, then I have to readjust it. And don't be afraid to push all over the place, because a lot of times there's air under here and no contact, and you'll look in and go, well, that's not in. When you push it down, it is. So make sure you're pushing on it nice and hard. Okay, so checking the leaf at the top. Check different parts of the picture. That leaf jumps out of focus too fast on the right. Now it's pretty equal. This one. So check different parts of the picture. I'm checking them. They are the focus, but you don't want this to be out either. So make sure you're getting an equal distance of this focus back in on the whole picture. Now the leaf is just about right. How is the dog and the guy? Good. So all we do now, we pull the little tab that we created, we put it to bottom. So we just pull this little tab. And if you want to make sure, you want to readjust, do one thumbprint in the middle. Then you can readjust if you need to. But once you go like this and get this thing sticky you are pretty much locked into place and so what you have now is this and now we're going to um, laminate it and I'll show you how to take off the rest of the film so we got this attached that everything's lined up and we're ready to laminate